Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of John Can, You Can. And here is my diesel heater setup. This is one of the cabinets. There's one on the left and right, but in the left cabinet, which would be the driver's side, I put a diesel heater inside the cabinet. Reason? Great place to store it. Two, it's outside. And three, it uh, allows it to have a nice secure location. And this is how I installed it. I drilled a little hole for the electronics to go inside the little controller electronic screen and uh, to put in the wiring for the actual heater to uh, start it and run the pump and all the necessary fans and such. So with this shut, I also drilled a hole to fit in the an elbow, a PVC elbow that's made for heating. And since it has a collar ring on the inside that's a little bigger, that's why this hole's a teeny bit bigger here. But I'm going to just put in a, a little piece of heat uh, protective rubber around that ring and it'll seal it up real nice. So the hose goes from that point from the side of the cabinet down to a connection that I created that goes inside the cab cabin itself goes inside the cab and uh, this this connector right here has a has a pair so there's two of them one on the outside one on the inside so that they connect together well the hose is an insulated heater hose and it's only 20 inches long but let's back up for a second i want to show you something else that's kind of interesting okay underneath i cut the hole for the exhaust and made it short because it doesn't need to be long but it blows out about 125 degrees of heat and it blows in the direction of the heater pipe intake uh, that blows the air into the cabin so a little extra heat from that to uh, keep it warm as the warm air blows through. It's kind of a neat plus. And I actually engineered it that way, so it's kind of scary, right? So it's uh, all pretty cool. 